Hi, this is my VW T6 transporter. I've converted it almost from new into a sort of a stealth camper. Follow me on my conversion and my trips around the UK and beyond. Hello and welcome to the garage. So before I decide to uh, where I'm going to fit the diesel heater, whether it's going to be fitted underneath the van or inside, I wanted to make sure, I basically wanted to see how loud it's going to be. So I've just set up a little experiment here. Uh, and I'm going to run it on the on the bench. So, looking down, what we've got is Echo, haven't we? We've got you, and then we've also got diesel in here. Uh, and at the moment, it's getting primed, so the diesel is getting pulled into the air, uh, fuel filter and to the priming pump, and then eventually into the uh, heater itself, exhaust, uh, inlet for air, and that's just the diesel. I'm running it off. Okay. Oh, he's adorable, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, we've got a drill battery and uh, 12 volt, and then to prime it, all you got to do is okay, all you got to do is basically uh, push OK and down together, and then uh, that gives you H off, and then to prime it, you push that one up there, and it gives you H on, and then it will start making that noise and start drawing fuel through like that. Easy peasy so far. So it's being primed and now uh, I've just pushed the on button and uh, it's starting to fire up and we'll see what happens. I'm taking the precaution of wearing a bit of personal protective equipment because uh, there's quite a lot of smoke coming out at the moment. So here's the diesel generator in all its glory. It's uh, it's running on about 75% power now. Uh, luckily the smoke has cleared <laughs> uh, and it's, it's burning quite clean now. Uh, very quiet actually. The main noise you can hear is the exhaust and the, the pump, but that's gonna be mounted outside the vehicle anyway, so that's not an issue. This is gonna be mounted underneath the driver's seat because it's so quiet and you're getting a noise, what you might hear like on an aircraft uh, long haul, so it's, 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 it's not an issue for me. Uh, so this is going to go underneath the driver's seat on the inside now. The heat which is coming out of it is so warm, it is lush. And my hand's there and I'll have to take it away. About, it, it's hot, trust me. Uh, yep, so uh, the control panel uh, is 12 degrees now. I started off at 8 degrees in the uh, ambient temperature and it's went out up to 12 degrees. Temperature sensor is actually in here somewhere, so I've been told. Um, the temperature you set the machine to is supposed to be in centigrade, but for some reason I've got a measurement output of hertz, uh, so I'm just going to have to scale it. So it's the scale, it's from 1 hertz to 3 hertz, and I'm on 2.4 hertz at the moment, so I'm more towards the top end. Um, and whatever that works out at, but all I know is 2.4 hertz, I've got another. 0.6 of a hertz there on the scale range and that is toasty so I haven't got a true uh, temperature reading on this uh, not sure why but at the end of the day it's six times cheaper than a, a, a normal diesel generator if you're gonna get like a, a decent make so uh, I, I'm not complaining pretty happy so for the bit inside the van you need to first of all you need to remove the seat just held down on two nuts and two bolts um, when you pull this back from the factory it comes with a grommet now I've just cut a hole in the grommet to run the wiring loom through for the diesel heater I've also had to cut a, a bigger hole in for the hot air exhaust which comes out to the cabin uh, and I've just basically sealed that with a high temperature mastic sealant uh, also from factory it comes with a on the T6 it comes with a uh, an earthing uh, nut there so I've just earthed the system down to that for the live it I've just rooted it uh, through a grommet here onto the passenger seat and this is where my little power station is so it basically uh, just get uh, put into there on a 15 amp fuse and uh, job's done that's where the fan cold air inlet is go underneath that I'll show you where that comes out So underneath the vehicle, this is on the right hand side of the vehicle, this is the cold air inlet for the fan 
uh, here and this is the hole which I made in the footwell uh, which I just showed you and it's just mastic uh, make sure no cold air can get in the unit itself the exhaust is going to be running down and I'll put the plastic trim back on later so I've just got to cut a hole in that the combustion air inlet is this one here and it's just rooted and nestled up there the wiring loom uh, runs through the standard grommet which is underneath the seat at the driver's seat and this is the hot air into the cabin and that is basically uh, the hole which I had to do and I've used high temperature mastic uh, sealant for that so uh, it's nice and airtight uh, the fuel line is runs from this side around here underneath the on top of the heat shield and over to the fuel tank the hardest part of the job was actually the fuel tank removal I did it on these stands uh, which was a nightmare but we've got it done and it's definitely a two-man job you have to release three uh, straps for it uh, to lower it down uh, and remove the fuel sender unit and then buy an extra uh, a fuel stack pipe and, and uh, drill into that uh, when you're lowering the fuel tank down it's pretty difficult because the AdBlue system uh, fuel filler cap and the diesel fuel filler cap have to be rooted down uh, and not catch anything so it's a two man job for that and it's doable and I uh, managed to remove the fuel sender unit uh, with the fuel tank just uh, lower down to the ground there and I could just about get it out and do the job that's that so I've just put the bulkhead back in and it's uh, up and running now uh, the hot air outlet is there I'll spin that round whichever way I want and it's nice and warm and there's my control panel that's it Nice and simple.